Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's Plan of Rescue for His Children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is, you are the light. The Lord is calling you forth as His light. You are filled with His power and His glory. And now let your light shine into your neighborhoods. Gather the people together in the dwelling places of Zion. Gather them together into your home assemblies. Empower and train them and send them into the neighborhood so that they can let their light shine. Let your light shine for the heavenly kingdom. So that all people will see it. That you set an example of love and righteousness in the world. That you separate yourself from the world and from Babylon. From all man-made doctrines, from, from the lukewarm churches. And that you only act on behalf of the heavenly kingdom and not anymore being part of the beast system that's working for money your careers your temptations the worldly endeavors that you have all that one must die die to your old life and become born again onto the new and righteous path the true path in the middle towards mount zion and at mount zion there the multitude closed the wide all the people who have cleaned their garments through the blood of Jesus Christ, will then be ruptured into paradise at the sixth seal. Now the first seal will create a change. It will bring forth the light. It will ascend the people. They will have access to the holy place. And who are these people? These are the bride of Christ. These people will then go forward and bring in the great harvest of the ages. Be ready. Be ready to be filled. The Lord will knock at your door and you will open for him. And then he said, my bride, now has the time has come. Come very close to me. Come a true copy of mine, the Lord says. Walk as he did, act as he did, and talk as he did. Let millions of Jesus people walk the earth as Jesus did, bringing in a multitude that nobody could number. Now these are the lights that he will, 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 will start to bring forth in every nation and on every continent. These are the fires that, the, that God the Father will lit. These are the people that are so close to the Lord that they will have access to the holy place, to the third heaven. And can there meet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on a daily basis. Talk with him. Receive his instructions and then go forth in the nations to bring in the great harvest. Are you ready to ascend to the next level? Are you ready to have access to the holy place, to paradise and the third heaven? Are you ready to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ hand in hand? Are you ready to do what he is asking you to do? Are you truly ready to separate yourself from the world and from Babylon? You might even have to go away from your family, from your careers, from everything what you have. Because you have to stand separate. Because the world will be given over to the Antichrist and the false prophet. And whoever will remain in the world will be subject to the mark. Or will die as a murderer. But you are called forth as a light in the darkness to shine forth in the dwelling places of Zion that the Lord will create all over the world. And there, his people, the children of Zion, will dwell and they will be protected by him day and night. They will be covered like a rose in a winter storm and they will blossom and flourish and the great revival will be there in the dwelling places of Zion but in the outer world there will be darkness great darkness now you you yourself you have to decide do you want to be the bride of Christ repent be obedient and do what he is asking you to do or you want to remain lukewarm and sit and wait for something that has already come. Your glory has already come and your blessing has already come. You only have to collect it. Be the light in the darkness. 
and do the righteous deeds of the saints for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Maranatha.